Welcome to Second Tech, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Ford Motor Company of Southern Africa is aiming to lure customers back to its brand after the 2017 recall of Cougar vehicles as a result of thermal incidents. Irma Fenter tells us more about Ford's plans. Hi Irma. Morning Chanel. What will Ford South Africa's new CEO, Dr. Kasper Kreer, do to entice consumers back to the Ford brand? Well, Dr. Crew has been in the hot seat for about a year now. He came uh, to the position in April last year. And he comes from uh, Toyota. He's a brand and marketing expert. So that's probably what Ford reads, needs right now. And his focus will be on breaking down the customer experience with Ford to the smallest puzzle piece. In other words, he'll look at um, what happens with the customer on that day within that service center, on that internet experience, on that call or that dealership and specifically how that customer experience is fought. So he wants to break it down to that smallest puzzle piece, and he says about 100,000 customers or potential customers contact Ford every month and vice versa. So he wants to make sure that that becomes an experience that builds trust with, um, with the customer and the consumer in South Africa. So that's his big focus. He also has another focus, and that is to improve the transfer of ownership from the um, of a Ford vehicle from a consumer, from a dealership to a consumer, and then to also look after the consumer and the vehicle over the life cycle of that vehicle. Um, so it's also it's just, so it's a bit of a small focus on that small puzzle piece, and then it seems like a longer focus of the life cycle of the vehicle and building the trust um, in that vehicle with South African consumers again. Has Ford's brand been damaged as a result of the Cougar incidents? Well, Dr. Kruger will tell you as much that he'll say um, brand has been um, has suffered a setback. He won't say it's been damaged or broken, he'll just say a setback. So he acknowledges that. So we do have a problem with, with sales, for example. Kruger sales have dropped from 300 units a month down to, uh, to about 100 units a month. Overall, Ford sales in 2016 had reached about just short of 74,000 units. That dropped to just over 71,000 units in, 26, in 2017. Um, and that in a market that grew about 1.8% last year. Also this year, um, Ford expects that to drop further, and that in a market that is expected to grow by around 3% this year, a new vehicle market. Market share also has taken a knock. So Ford market share was about 13.5%, a record in 2016, and that dropped to 12.8% in 2017. Of course, the drop in numbers have not, it's not everything to do with the Cougar. We can also see that uh, Ford, po Ford's most popular models, for example, the Fiesta and the EcoSport are on run out mode. So they've, the model has come to its end of its life cycle and we'll see the introduction of the new models um, very soon in the local market. And that's of course also shaped some sales of their numbers. So there is clearly a bit of a t uh, turbulence and turmoil for Ford within the local market at the moment. And we'll see what Kruger, Kruger does to, to rebuild uh, the trust in the brand and the brand itself. Beyond the Cougar, what other plans does Creator have for the Ford brand? At the moment, Ford is in the midst of um, renegotiating to, to build and manufacture the next generation Ranger pickup in South Africa. So he's got to tackle that. Um, and he also is f there's a strong focus on logistics cost to make South Africa a more competitive production um, base within the global network. So there's a big focus on logistics in terms of ports and rail and everything connected to that to make sure we're more competitive as a country. So Ford South Africa also has a strong focus on reducing complexity within the brand. Um, so for example, we'll see the new vehicles being rolled out. We'll see that there will be a uh, few options a few within fewer model derivatives within a model lineup and uh, fewer colors available. So customers will actually just uh, have a few options to choose and, and probably make buying a vehicle easier and perhaps also selling a vehicle easier from a dealer perspective. Ford will um, do some research and looking at what the uh, market wants in terms of standard options and then put those standard options in and sell the vehicle as is. That will also be a focus on um, if selling every vehicle with a service plan now and also reducing the service intervals we see on these vehicles from down from 20,000 Ks, which was quite a brave move from Ford a few years back, down to 15,000 again. So the in indication from Ford that this will actually um, improve dur durability and reliability of their vehicles within the local market. And um, I think it just makes sense. The more often you see a vehicle, the better its reliability is within a dealership. So for example, Toyota has uh, some service intervals of 10,000 kilometers. So you have that coming down from 20,000 to 15,000 then for Ford. And then you would also see that um, every vehicle will come with a service plan and the vehicles will be sold as that. So uh, it's quite a it's a quite a big uh, job lying ahead for Korea, but it seems like he's 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 um, tackling it head on. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching, and join us again next time for more news analysis.